Yeah. They're all laughing at us right now. No, I don't understand you, honey. <laughs> you can't talk to me in Serbian. Uh. Ah, okay, I'm starting to talk in Hebrew. <laughs> So there's three routes from Novi Sad to Sambor, and out of the three routes, we're taking West Route, which is the no tolls. It's five minutes shorter than the other routes, but hopefully we can see some pretty cool stuff on the back roads. taking a road trip with a rental car is being able to stop wherever you want. We've gone through two small little town villages right now and uh, we didn't stop in the first one, which we should have because there was a bakery and a whole bunch of other stuff. But now we stopped in this second little drive through village that we came through. Oh man, these smell good. Dude, they're bomb. Oh. They're my favorite candy. These are so strong with banana smell. So we do have wafers in the US, normally vanilla or chocolate. I've never seen banana. Mm. These are so good. Bananita. I'm about to eat these all day. Incredible. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not gonna share. Hey! I'm not sharing these at all. No, dude, I'm gonna eat the whole box. I don't you know, do you guys eat the whole, hey! <laughs> do you guys eat the whole box? Cause these are so good. <laughs> I have no idea where we are. Somewhere in the middle of Novi Sad, some bar. Oh, they have amazing burgers. Hello. Oh. Are you open? Da? Food? Pescavita? No? Pescavita. Uh, burger? 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 Uh, no. Gaza. Gaza. Uh, Later. Three. Three. Ah, what time is it? Next left. Thank you. The Serbian burger. I gotta try it. I gotta get my first one. Why not try it in a very local place? Very small place. Hopefully the most authentic. And it looks good. Yeah. No velika? Srednja. Srednja. Gracias. Uh, two. Two. Three, three, three. Three. Hello. The three. Three. Thank you. Three combos. Three yes. combos. Three combos. So apparently we're in Ojatsi. The nice uh, the nice police officer told me Ojatsi. So had no clue what the name of this was. And Chris says, actually, people have been telling him to come here for a while. No mustasa, mustasa. Uh, mayonnaise. No, no, no. Mayonnaise? Da. Time a little bit. Ah. Like. Dobro, malo. Aiuto. <laughs> I don't understand you, honey. <laughs> you can't talk to me in Serbian and I can answer in the same way. <laughs> She's bringing each ingredient up and asking us individually which one each of us wants so that we know what ingredient we have because we actually don't know what she's saying. Honestly, just coming here to get food turned into a full experience in itself. And it always is, but it's always so much fun to learn different words and experience different things. And this lady is just so nice. <laughs> like most people would just be like, okay, you don't understand and just throw it on and you'd get what you get. Ah, okay, I'm starting to talk in Hebrew. <laughs> No, no, good, good. Good, good. Okay. It's good, it's good. Oh, yeah. you spoke in Hebrew. But just for one word, because she spoke speaking in Serbian, so it's the same. You know, <laughs> nobody understood nobody. Yeah. They're all laughing at us right now. I don't think we got exactly what we ordered, but it was a little difficult to get the order, so she did her best. 
This is the Serbian burger. And uh, it's a lot different than an American burger. One, the bread's completely different, but it looks really good. That's really good. It's got like cheese, some sort of ham or bacon, beef or pork, I'm not too sure, I think it's pork. Pickles, mayonnaise, chili sauce, ketchup, mustard. They definitely laid on the mayonnaise real heavy, but it's still very delicious. And it's a lot different because it's, in the US you have thick burgers. This is a very large, thin burger, which means it's cooked very evenly. It's really good. We have made it to Samba. And it actually, uh, when we were pulling in, I was a little bit worried that there was gonna be nothing here, but it actually looks like a really, really nice town. A really, really nice city. The main square is beautiful. They're decorated for New Year's and Christmas. Hopefully things are open tomorrow for us. Is this where we go park? This yeah. is where we park. This is apparently our apartment. I don't know which room it is. It's one with a terrace, but we are right by the city center. The only problem we seem to have had was that out of all the Airbnb options, there was like probably six in this whole city, but there was only one with three reviews. So we jumped on that as fast as we could. Chris was like, but none of them have reviews. None of them have reviews. But we ended up booking the one that had three reviews. It was available. Yes, come today. Ah, okay. Uh, I knew. Okay, no worries. We understand. All right, so we did make it to our new Airbnb here in Sunbar, and it is incredible. This is honestly the best Airbnb we've had on the trip so far. We've had a lot of pretty bad luck with Airbnb here in uh, Serbia, but that's okay. <laughs> all right. Actually, it's a, actually, to be honest, it's like a mixture of all of us, but it is Jimmy's fault because that's the way we roll. We're always blaming on Jimmy. <laughs> all right. So this place you could actually live in though, which is incredible because they have tons of silverware in here for everybody. They have every possible cooking utensil you could have, every pot and pan. They have water jugs. They have cheese shredders and graters. They have washing machines, a dishwasher. Full oven, cooktop, wine fridge, normal fridge with beer. The beer was not given to us. Then they have a full cabinet full of all your plates, all your plates, your cups, your bowls, your little sauce dishes, everything you can imagine. Now there are three of us, so this couch actually folds out into a bed. It's super comfortable. It's like a memory foam couch, I believe. We do have a terrace. Going outside, so if you do want to smoke, if somebody's a smoker, which is quite different, because most Airbnbs around the world don't allow you to smoke inside, but here in Serbia, most apartments you get do allow you to smoke inside with your indoor ashtray. A lot of people might be disgusted by that, but that's just like one of their cultural differences and one of the things that makes traveling so special. Like here in Serbia, dude, they smoke like, I've never seen people smoke as much as Serbs do. Yeah. And you can literally find ashtrays everywhere. If you hate tobacco smoke and cigarette smell, then this is definitely one of the places that you want to avoid. But mostly almost every Airbnb, every hotel, anything on booking will be um will be a place that you can smoke inside so you might have that little bit of linger of cigarette smell around but it's pretty standard here now they do have a very large bed here so they will be bunking up in here with the spare blankets and pillows big sliding door and here's the bathroom you have a urinal a toilet your shower. And then what's really amazing, I've never been to Europe, so I absolutely love this. This is the greatest invention next to a bidet. It's a towel warmer. So when you get done with the shower, you come in and your towel is toasty warm. With me traveling around the world, 
I use Airbnb to basically live in just about 10 months out of the year. Every time you guys sign up with a new account on Airbnb, you get up to $65 off your first booking and $50 off your first Airbnb experience. And I get up to $20 per person that signs up with a new account. So living in these things is basically my life. So it really helps out when you guys do support and you guys do use that link to sign up. And a little secret, if you already have an Airbnb account, create a new email and you still get the discount. And I still get the support. So it helps both of us with no extra charge to you. But having an Airbnb that is fully equipped like this is pretty uncommon, but it is very nice when you do get everything you possibly need to live the normal lifestyle that you're used to. So if you are interested in using this, you can click on the link in the description box below. And we will see you guys tomorrow as we explore the city. Later, guys. Later.